What's up, Metalheads? My name's Jamie. This is the Blades and EDC channel. Thank you guys so much for being here. And today we're going to be taking a look at two knives. I'm going to give my review of the XTOUC. I say XTALC. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it or not. But this one is the XT01A. And we're also going to take a look at the RX302. Exact same uh, shape knives. One's a frame lock, one's a liner lock. One is D2 and one is M390, titanium frame lock, G10 with stainless steel liners and stainless steel pocket clip. Uh, but as you can see, they're pretty much the exact same knife. Just uh, one's a liner lock with uh, budget materials and one's a frame lock with premium materials. And um, I like both these knives a lot. They both do have one issue. Uh, it's not a uh, terrible, terrible thing, but it is a little rough. They are a little rough in and out of the pocket because... Of this frag pattern and they didn't put a landing pad underneath where the pocket clip makes contact with the scale so they're a little rough in and out of the pocket this one especially is much this one's pretty bad in and out of jeans this one's a little rough it's not as bad because of the way the pocket clip is kind of flattened out down there it this one just it goes in and out of the pocket much better than this one uh, this one's rough in and out of the pocket, guys, i got to tell you. Um, this one does have a reversible pocket clip also. And I like how they mounted the pocket clip under the scale, as you can see there. So that's nice. you got plenty of room once it's, you know, you get it in your pocket. It's just, you know, your jeans coming across that frag pattern G10 with that pocket clip makes it a little rough. So, um, And this one here has a reversible pocket clip also, but it mounts on the outside. It has a filler tab on this side. This is a very nice knife, too. Very, both these knives have fantastic action. Um, shame about the pocket clip. I hope it, in the, maybe somebody will watch this from x -Talc and, uh, you know, when you do this kind of pattern, milling pattern, you got to leave like a little square where the pocket clip makes content, contact with the scale so it slides in and out of your pocket better. But um, we're going to have to take the specs on these manually. Uh, I don't know where the... I can't find them anywhere online. So we're just going to do it the old-fashioned way. Um, we'll break out the scale here and get the calipers out. Um, blade lengths, they're the same, so I need to measure one. Blade length's going to be right at... Three and a quarter inches, three and a quarter inch blade length. Handle length it is four and a quarter, so seven and a half overall length. The blade uh, stock thickness on the liner lock, 130 thousandths, and on the frame lock, I think it's the same, 130 thousandths, yeah. Um, handle thickness on the frame lock is 0.45. It's a little thicker on this one, I'm pretty sure. It feels thicker. Yeah, 0.54, so a tenth of an inch thicker on the liner lock. And uh, let's check the weight real quick. Because they weigh about the same. Pretty close to the same. Alright, the liner lock, the budget version, 3 ounces even. And the premium version, 2.8 ounces. So, frame lock is a little bit lighter weight. Price on... The budget version is $35, and the price on the premium version, uh, it's $163, but currently on Amazon, there is a $20 off coupon for this knife. So you can get this knife for $143 for an M390 titanium frame lock with uh, this type of frag pattern and milling. It seems pr very affordable to me. These have flippers and front flippers, so... Both have great action. One thing about the front flipper, it took me a little bit to get used to it because of the, where the flipper lines up. I kept wanting to put my index finger up here and it would get me. But once you figure it out and figure out what to do, you, you know, you figure out where to hold it and it's not an issue. You can do all the tricks with them. They have great action, great detents. Trying to do this on the camera. Yeah, great detents. Cage ceramic ball bearings on the pivots. Uh, this one has titanium hardware also. Ergonomics, very good. Very comfortable in hand. No hot spots anywhere at all. Both feel fantastic in hand. 
Yeah, and uh, if you guys watched Love Them Knives, he recently, just recently sent knives off to get the uh, blades tested, right? And this is another x -talc. I have their button lock. And they uh, advertised this one as 14C28N, and it came back as being 14C28N and had a great heat treat on it for the money. I mean, well, actually, it was a better heat treat than some of the other more expensive knives. I think it was like 60-something heat treat on the uh, 14C. So confident that they are being honest with their stills. And for a D2 knife, uh, you know, with this good of action for $35, I think it's a great deal. It's a great deal, especially if you like to fidget, you like front flippers and flippers, get the best of both worlds. And if you want to spend something, get something nice that, you know, another bigger brand would probably charge you a lot more for this knife, you know what I mean? Especially at the 143 mark you can get them for right now. Somebody else doing this kind of work would charge you more for this knife than $143 with M390 blade still. Now, the M390 has not been tested um, that I'm aware of. I don't know if anyone's tested it or not, so I don't know what the heat treat is on it. I would love to know uh, if it's up there in that you know 60 range would be nice, but you know nobody's tested it yet that I know of. So, um, but I'm gonna trust that it's good that it is M390. Uh, since they, they've been honest with what has been tested. And uh, let's do a couple size comparisons. Let me grab a couple more budget-friendly knives here. I'm just going to test one or compare one because they're the same thing. So same exact size. Here's the QSP Penguin. A little bit longer than the Penguin. Um, here is the uh, SOG Terminus XR. A little bit longer than the Terminus XR. Sorry, somebody's flying down the road on a motorcycle, guys. Um, here is the uh, Kaiser Mini Sheepdog. A little more frag action for you. Quite a bit longer than Mini Sheepdog. Uh, here's that x uh SX603, I believe it is. It's much smaller than that. I love this knife, too. This knife right now, you can get this one for like $45. It's an amazing deal. I'll link all these knives in the description, all these x talc knives in the description for you. Um, you can only buy them on Amazon. Here's a Benchmade Bug Out. It's going to be similar in size to the Bug Out, really close. It may be a 16th or an 8th inch longer than a Bug Out. Uh, here's the Sincut uh, Bockle 2. Here's the Sincut Bronte. And we will do one more sin cut here. The Honorus. Actually, I'm going to do one more X Talc also. That I, you will see a review for after this review. I can't remember the model number on this one. Let me uh, get the model number for the one I'm about to show you. This one is called the uh, GK22D. So, a little bit longer than that. Uh, lighter lighter weight this is lighter weight than this this is a little bit thicker and uh, taller blade and handle so another great knife from them too for the money fantastic so all right guys that's going to wrap it up i'm a big fan of x talc um i like what they're doing for the prices they're doing it for i would highly recommend that if they do frag pattern leave a landing pad under the pocket clip but other than that man there's nothing to complain about about either of these knives. They're both uh, really, really good for the money. Um, whether you go on the budget end or the premium side, uh, you're getting you're getting a, a great knife for the money, in my opinion, with both both knives. Uh, just be aware of the frag pattern with blue jeans, especially on this one. It's not as bad on this one. This one's pretty rough. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. And I will see you guys on the next one.